Howdy ho. All right, I made a video of the Titan PC debacle um, that this is a 5950X, 3090 for the Win 3, uh, 128 gigs of RAM, all top of the line system pretty much. And uh, this thing was overheating and shutting off in the old case, which is right here. This thing uh, with a piece of crap generic power supply, that was actually defective, uh, but the case couldn't handle it. This thing, this Lee and Lee, uh, no vents, no nothing. All right, so we have this all uh, put into a new case. This is a Fantex high airflow, like 500 something. We got the, uh, sorry, got the uh, Noctua D, I think 15. Um, anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 140 millimeter fans. Uh, this is the, like I said, Fantex. It's got this cool glass magnetic panel, which, <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, and so it sounds like this. Idle. I do need to get one more fan splitter for this guy. He ran out of uh, fan headers on the motherboard. Uh, it is what it is, and I didn't have a splitter. Uh, well, I have one, but not many. And that looks about like that. Uh, I got some, you know, wire management going on in here. Just people don't get pissed off. And uh, all right, so we're running. Here we go. Got some stuff. All right, we're going to do uh, firmware to start with. And that's a so 4K AMSAA GPU stress test. We've also got Indigo Bench. That's um, this guy's a graphics designer, virtual reality guy. So this is uh, important to him. So let's just go ahead and uh, get this going. Crank it up. Get our uh, hardware info. So that's our core stuff absolutely maxed out we are at according to hardware info about 4500 on the all the cores and uh, we are at 76.3 celsius that will go up to about 80 with everything cranked up and uh, the gpu is uh About 75, and you know, I'll let this hang out there for a minute, but that is a pretty heavy load. That's all the CPU cores maxed and the GPU maxed. And uh, so if we go over here and see what it sounds like. Uh, PSU has this cool feature. It's got eco mode, which turns the fan down, but let's go. A little extra cooling there. Since this is hitting about, I don't know, maybe like 700 watts max right now, the PSU is a 1300. I think we could easily just go into eco mode there. It's not blowing out a tremendous amount of hot air out of this. It feels okay. However, here, this is like a hair dryer. <laughs> not that loud, but I mean the hot, it's very hot air and uh, it will get hotter. And if I had this, you know, vertically oriented, the hot air would go up and then the two uh, 140s on top. But, you know, I'm just working on this for the moment. Um, so I'm pretty happy. I think this is going to be a very stable and dependable workstation now. I should be able to crank anything he wants on this without it overheating or being stupid. And um, so I think the problem is solved. Uh, it cost about 650 bucks in parts. Uh, 200 on the power supply, about 100 uh something on the uh, D15 Noctua, three fans are like $24 a piece, case is about 160 something like that. And um, I actually took some time on this. You know, I did the build, um, wire managed it, and then uh, adjusted the BIOS so that I could get like 4,500 on all the cores, took a little bit of doing. Then, you know, thermal testing, um, which I've been doing for the last, I don't know, 12 hours. Uh, because this guy does renders for a long time, like they could be 12-hour renders, um, we need that to, to happen correctly, right? So 